Does that count? <laughs> Hi guys. Spotted this in one of my junk boxes. Mouse trap. So I dug this one out of the uh, storage pile. And we'll see if we can convert this, which I've used as a rubber band powered car and a few other things. See if we can make it mousetrap powered. See if I can stick that on there somewhere. We'll try it initially, just attaching the line directly to the uh, arm, arm, or whatever you want to call that bit. And then wrap that round the back axle. That will give us about mm, three or four inches of travel. Which is probably enough to do the distance here. If you want it to go further, you actually add an arm to that. You extend that arm so you've got a longer lever. But we'll try it with just, just as it is and see how far we go. The only thing is that'll probably spin the wheels, so I'll have to see if I've got anything I can put on the wheels to give us some grip. I've just stuck it in place with double-sided sticky tape. I think that'll do for now. Long term it'll probably come loose, but I think it'll do for what I want. Right, I need some kite string. Awkward. And that. And again. I think it's a clove hitch, I think that's what it's called. You can't see it anyway, so you're gonna have to look it up. Pictures. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be much too powerful. a little bit too long as well. But it'll do for demonstration purposes. So it should be exactly the right length. I don't know if we can see in the camera but that's about an inch too long. Make it easy for me to wind it on there but it will probably stay on there at the end of the run and get wound up the opposite way and act as a brake. Anyway Okay, so if we just 
lift that up. And try it on the floor and see if it causes wheel spin. Right, I expect that we'll get wheel spin. <laughs> well, that was actually about uh, what do we say? It's eight meters out there, plus another four here. About 12 meters we did there, just from a single mouse trap launch. And we did get wheel spin, but it managed to keep going straight anyway. So we'll do it the opposite direction. Right, off we go again. So, we'll see if we can see the wheel spin. Does that count? <laughs> right. Summary time, I think. So, the build for the car, you'll have to look in the video description, there'll be a link to the original build. It's one of these ones that I've rather over-engineered, it's stronger than it needs to be, because the original request was for it to carry some weight. So this is thin plywood. The back axle is actually a steel rod, and it's in steel tubes, hot glue to the the wood. Front axle tube is just a drinking straw. Front axle is a barbecue skewer. Wheels are CDs with plastic bottle caps hot glued in the middle for hubs. And I've used this on quite a few different projects because it's just convenient and rather than throw it away, I've kept it. And then what we've done today, we've just added a cheap uh, mouse trap. We haven't extended the arm. Most people extend the arm with a long lever, just sort of glue it or uh, tie wrap it to one side of the mouse trap. And that gives you more leverage and more of a distance that it covers. So you you can wrap more turns around your axle. But as you can see, this one worked fine and we got, got 12 meters out of it with no trouble at all. As I say, check the video description if you actually want the build for that. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there and you might like to subscribe over there.